Hi, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import journal entries into QuickBooks Desktop using Z axis. So there are several ways already in QuickBooks that you can import journal entries, such as the IIF file or the um, QuickBooks journal files that you can get from your accountant. But these files are hard to manipulate. And if they're not in the right format for you, um, they're very hard to transfer the information from an Excel sheet or a spreadsheet. So that's why I'm going to show you the approach using Z-axis, which is a lot more powerful, is a lot more flexible, and um, can get the information into your QuickBooks file uh, in, a, in a more efficient and accurate way. So to start off, let's cover some of the basic rules and structures of journals so we can ease the process of getting that into QuickBooks. Here's a very simple example of a journal, and you'll see there's one column that contains your debits and one column that contains your credits. Now, the sum of the debit column and the sum of the credit column must be equal, so the journal must balance. So that's the first rule that we need to consider. The second is your account or your chart of account list that you're importing needs to match what's in QuickBooks Desktop. So with Z-axis, we can support um, journal numbers. We can also support the chart of accounts full name. So those are two things to consider. So what I'm going to do now is show you an actual example of using Z-axis to import some sample journal files directly into QuickBooks. So I've got a copy of QuickBooks Desktop open and the company file that I want to import the journal entries into. So next I'm going to open Z-axis. I'm going to select connection of QuickBooks Desktop and click Connect. Next, click the Import tab and I'm going to browse to the file which contains the journal entries that we're going to import into QuickBooks. So Z-axis supports text files, it supports Excel files, it supports even IIF files, um, all can be imported into QuickBooks. So here you can see the contents of the journal file that we're going to be importing. And you can see it consists of two journals, one 0001 and one 0002 zero two and they both have three lines so next we're going to create a mapping and this is going to be a mapping between the columns in our import file and the corresponding fields in QuickBooks so the transaction type I'm going to select as a journal entry and we're going to line up the QuickBooks fields to the columns in the import file so for example Date goes against date, reference number, account, debit, and credit. Now we don't have to map all these fields, only the map fields marked in yellow are mandatory. So we've mapped those, we're just going to add in a little bit more detail. So we know we've got a memo, we can also include the class. and the customer for billable, and whether it's billable or not. So once we've done that, we can save the mapping so we can reuse it on subsequent imports. And you'll now see that the columns names have changed to the QuickBooks fields and we can see exactly what we're going to import into QuickBooks. So Z-axis has a number of other features um, around that. We can have the ability to um, modify existing journals or we can skip over if they already exist. Um, but we're just going to straightforward import this one directly into QuickBooks. So when we're ready, click the import button. Access will validate the data to make sure it's in the correct format and we'll begin the process of importing that into QuickBooks. So you'll see there the two journals have been successfully imported into QuickBooks. Now we can go ahead and check to make sure that they appear in the right place. 
So we can click on this view button. Access will actually open the journal directly in QuickBooks and you can see exactly what's been imported. Another feature within Access is the ability to undo or roll back those transactions if they weren't imported in the correct way. So we click close. So that's very simply how you can use Z Axis to import journal entries in batch into QuickBooks Desktop using Z Axis.